today day five of junk journal round robin uh hashtag jj round robin this is a collaborative challenge with myself and mary ellen over at red parrot and cindy over at studio lou so check both of them out see what they're up to for today um hopefully by now you've figured out that this uh, little challenge is I've got a packet from Cindy and a packet from Mary Ellen, and I'll open them both and create something with what they've sent me. Um, the going trend seems to be tags. I have done four days of tags already, so, you know, who knows? Will we keep on that trend, or will this be something new and different um, for day five? So, we have our lovely little sticker from Mary Ellen. This looks like some sort of holly. Um, and then the envelope, her, hand, her homemade envelope out of the book page with the elephant on it um, that we, we are now gonna amass. We are getting close to having the whole book. <laughs> um, anyways, cute little elephant. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with this guy because I now have a lot of him. So we'll set that aside. And she has sent a book page and it is some foreign language. So I have no idea what they're even talking about, but there's some little diagrams and I don't even know if this is German or what. But we have that to work with. And then Cindy has sent a little tag here. Um, looks like it's a little pocket made out of some uh, some digitals. It looks like she's printed off a page here. And she has sent, uh, oof, this is like some reflective tape maybe. Is it... I think it's maybe some reflective ribbon, which absolutely go, does not go with the vintage book page. <laughs> so, mm, they have stumped me again. They stumped me yesterday with the um, sparkly star trim and the rainbow tickets. And now... <laughs> Oh, yo, 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 yo. Now we are working with some vintage book page and some sparkly. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't think it's tape. It, oh, it's like a little pocket. I don't know if it's meant to be a pocket, but it is. What is this? Is this ribbon of some sort? It's so weird. Um, so, <laughs> I am gonna, th I think I'm gonna set this envelope and our little sticker and even this little envelope. Maybe, let's see here. Let's see if we can take this apart and see what actually these images are. Uh-oh, I ripped it. Lung elixir and ang anger's emulsion heals the lungs. Hmm. I might use these two. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna use the envelope and the sticker for now. Um, and here's what I'm here's what I'm working. Here's what I'm thinking. Here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Uh, I know we're supposed to use these two together, per se. I, I think that was kind of the rules. Um, or was the rule just we have to make something with them? I don't know. But I am inclined to... Lordy Pete, I don't know what to do with that shiny silver stuff. because everything else is kind of vintage -y looking. So we're using the pocket that she sent. We'll cut out these two images out of here. Um, 
And I am inclined to use these three. Let's see here. Let me grab a piece of folder because we're going to back this. Okay, set you aside. We're just going to back this straight off. And I think I'm going to use this page, this side, because it has the more, more designs on it. So, I, I want to gather that this is probably German, um, but I don't know different languages, so I, I don't know like what they look like or anything like that, so. That is not my forte. Get the edges really good. And we are just gonna lay it flat. And I'm gonna go ahead with the creases, the folds of this and Use the folds as our For some reason these scissors feel really stiff to me this morning. But we're just gonna work with it. along this fold. I'm not cutting uh, straight because, you know, I don't cut straight. Now we have three tags to work with. And... Um, yeah, now what? <laughs> um, this guy, and I'm going to cut this um, and see. Don't ask what I'm doing, because we don't know. Now, um, I that's you know we still don't have any. Now I wonder if I'm gonna take the plastic off of this, and so we just have a. A shiny, it's such a weird fabric. Um, I wonder if we can, I wonder if it tears. It does not tear, okay. Mm -mm, does not tear. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it into three pieces. And we're going to figure out a way to use it on each of these tags. Even though... We are trying to go, or we are pretty much going vintage. I feel like I want a Tim Holtz person. Let me see. Now we're at the point where I gotta dig around and find something to work with. I do have Tim Holtz people. Find them. Find them, find them, find them, find them. I'm finding a 
other things to go along. Ha. Not that. Maybe this. Okay. So, I have the Tim Holtz people that are just the headshots. So, let's see if we can work with them. I'm kind of inclined to work with the dudes. I don't know why. Mm. Okay. Let me change him out. Okay, we'll see what that where this gets us. Also have these random pieces. We're just going to make a little collage of stuff. See what becomes of it. This is full of random pieces. I don't know that these are the pieces we want. These are not the pieces we want, so. Although well, some of them might work. Let's just dig through a little bit. Mm. We'll work with that and see. If we have our dudes as our, um, as our, um, focal point, Yeah, you know, like I said, just kind of as a, how about we do this? How about we just start gluing things down and see what happens? And this silver stuff I'm going to use... Um, my weld bond. Because it's, it's such a, it's a weird material, so I want to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and put this down with the weld bond as well, mainly because I'm going to be gluing it over that silver material. And um, make sure it glues down pretty good. It's hanging over the tag, but I'll trim it all up in a little bit. We're just going to Work with what we got for now, while we're making a mess.
We got too much going on here. What are we doing? Yeah, we'll try it. And see. I have a trouble. I have trouble with. Um, sometimes I have trouble with collage where you do a lot of layering, but you cover it all up. I mean, it's like, it's hard for me to cover things up in collage. Um, it's like, why did I put it down? I'm going to turn around and cover it right back up. But I, I get kind of the aesthetic of it. Kind of. Kind of. We are a little crooked. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but this this little image is on crooked. So I'm going to put him a little crooked to straighten it up and we'll trim him, make him straight. I'm going to set him aside to dry and then we'll trim him up. We'll move on to this guy, see if we can create the same sort of situation. I'm going to trim this down a little bit because where I tried to tear it, it's all crooked. All bent. I want it to lay flat. So again, just kind of gluing things down, seeing what happens. Uh oh, that tore, but that's okay. I swear a plane goes by every time I do a video. <laughs> I swear. That's how it happens. That's okay. I'm going to we'll put him here. We're going to put some more of these like over here. Like there's essentially no rhyme or reason to the pieces in the background. I mean, these are like bond stamps or uh, I don't really know. Um, War bonds, maybe. I don't know. That has nothing to do with long elixir. That has nothing to do with the background. But we don't care. We're just working with it. We're just making something up. We're just adding stuff to his background, making it happen. Put him off center a little bit.
Set him aside and we'll trim him up in a little bit. And moving on to this guy. Trying to flip up where, again, where I tugged at it, I think. Okay. I kind of don't want this dude's... I don't want the um, this guy's face in it. Oh, but I could actually. Kind of cover it up with this. And we have these guys. No, I totally set that down. Totally not where I was thinking I wanted it to be. The uh, little sewer thing is not wanting to lay down on this for some reason. you here. So, I think we managed to do it. We used the book page from Mary Ellen and the shiny silver piece from Cindy. And made them come together, even though they don't look like they go together. And I think we did it. So let's trim it up a little bit. Oh, come on. What's the deal here? Okay. A little taggy do here. Okay. 
<clears throat> now, as far as the little floofies at the top... What do you guys think? Shall we poke a hole and tie some ribbon? Let's just look in our ribbon jar and see if we have anything that kind of would go. I'm not sure that we do. Mm hmm. Not sure that we do. I keep going back to this, which it kind of goes. Got some red that would go. Excuse me. What a better alt. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just do them all in red. Because they've all got that bright red in them. Let's see here. Let us trim this into threes. And I actually kind of think I just want to do a staple at the top. <clears throat> See what that does. Yeah, I kind of like that. Pretty simple. You don't have to have all the fancy tools and sewing machines and whatnots to make some ephemera happen. You can make it happen with just your regular stuff. There we go. So, there you have it for day five. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm on a tag making kick. Um, uh, I kind of like these. They're kind of different. Um, we could hit them with, I wonder if my red ink, I wonder if we hit them with some red ink. What? That kind of ties that red in together. The red ink's about dead, but, you know, we just need a little bit. And no clue what kind of journal that this would go in. But, you know. For now, they're going to go in my stash. I'm building up my ephemera stash, or um, so far, my tag stash. Um, so, Cindy did, I guess it was March? I don't know. Uh, February? I don't know. She did one of the challenges that she did. She just made tags. Maybe it was February, because March isn't over yet. 
I'm filming this early, by the way. Um, <clears throat> and she did all tags with the challenge. And I thought that was a great idea. And it, it lessened the thought process of, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? So that's kind of in the back of my brain. When I went into this challenge with, with Cindy and Mary Ellen, I was like, okay, maybe I'll just kind of focus on one thing. Journal cards or tags or something like that. And, um, again, I, that's not a rule, but so far it seems to be working out pretty okay that, um, we're making tags. So thanks for joining me. Day five of Junk Journal Round Robin. Uh, again, it's a little collaborative challenge hosted by myself and Cindy at Studio Lou and Mary Ellen over at Red Carrot. Be sure and check them out, see what they're doing. And, um, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye for now.